Hello everyone, welcome back to day two of hashtag homemade Christmas. I'm so glad that you're joining us. If you haven't heard of homemade Christmas uh, before, it is a um, idea of a friend of ours from The Roots Up. They are a YouTube channel that we adore. They have two kids and they live in Southern Oklahoma and we met them at a conference in August and we just got to know each other and adore them. So anyway, uh, she came up with this idea of homemade Christmas and we wanted to participate and join along. So if you are interested in making some homemade gifts, uh, search hashtag homemade Christmas and you can follow along uh, with all of it. Day two, uh, we're trying to try something a little bit more adventurous at uh, this time. We are going to make a uh, stovetop potpourri. So I've never made this before, but it sounds wonderful. I'm finally at a stage now that my kids are older and so I'm not as worried about like candles um, on the tabletops and um, leaving things on the stove. I think when I had four toddlers um, all at the same time, so they're stair-stepped, my kids are. Uh, Right now I have a 10, 11, 12, and 14 year old. So you can just imagine when they were little, they were going everywhere and I couldn't watch them well enough to have lit candles on tabletops and um, I'd always have to be next to the stove if I had anything. They're older now, so now I can um, enjoy those things and I am thoroughly enjoying them. I love my candles right now. So I thought a stovetop potpourri, what would be better? Um, so this is a gift that we're gonna put into a jar when it's made. Um, really the only thing that you have to prepare ahead of time is dried oranges. So oranges, you just get uh, at the store and then you slice them anywhere from a fourth of an inch to an eighth of an inch thick. You want them to be pretty thin. And the reason is, is that we're going to dehydrate them um, in the oven. First thing we're gonna do is cut our orange into slices. And you can see, you try to keep them pretty uniform and uh, for size, that way they dry at the same rate. But these have all been cut. I'm gonna cut a couple more enough to fit a cookie sheet. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven. What you do is you turn on your oven to 200 degrees and you put them on a um, cookie sheet and spread them out. I probably will put parchment paper underneath mine. Uh, use a paper towel and try to soak up all the liquid that you can before you put them in the oven. Uh, that'll just make the dry time faster. And then um, set your alarm on your phone so you can definitely hear it no matter where you go. And every 30 minutes you wanna check on them and flip them and that way that they dry out evenly. And then towards the end, if they are getting dry, like some will be thinner and so they'll dry out faster. Um, I've heard that you look for the white of the orange to turn golden and that is kind of when you know it's time to take them out. So uh, that's what we'll look for, but it takes anywhere from two to four hours. So you wanna definitely do it on the afternoon where you have the time. So that's what we're gonna do and then we will start assembling the rest of the packages. And stick those in like that. And, and there you go. So when everyone else gets home, um, I'll probably have the girls help me with the rest of the gift. Um, I think it'll be really fun to, to do. Um, one other note, if you are just making it for yourself or, um, you are taking it immediately to somebody and you know that they're gonna use it right away, like if there was a party that night or something like that, you don't have to dry the oranges. The oranges are just dried um, so that they can be preserved and use it later when they want to. But the to actually make the recipe work, they don't need to be dried. Um, that's just for saving reasons. So, all right, well, we'll check in another two to four hours. The kids should be home and they will help me put the rest together. And I have Caroline here. So this is an evening craft mm -hmm. to finish our stovetop potpourri. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are going to show you the finished product. It looks like this. It looks like this. Let's do a little tag. They made a cute little tag to Mama, And then on the back, it says, here you hold it. 
so it says, see if you can get it right there. It says stovetop potpourri, place in water, simmer on stovetop, add water as needed. Mm -hmm. So those are the directions and we're going to make one with you. So our oranges are done. Yeah. Uh, Caroline, you wanna show them what the oranges look like? So they don't look uh, fresh. They're, um, they're de dehydrated. And they're a little skinny maybe. Yeah, they're built in. But we could have sliced them even thinner. It did take quite a while today to dehydrate them. So, mm -hmm. all right, so the first thing you're gonna add is the sprigs uh, of evergreen. Mm -hmm. All right, so stiff some of those down in your- They're cedar. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we need all of it? Nope, not all of it yet. Okay, excellent. All right, now you're going to add in uh, some cinnamon sticks. Have you ever smelled a cinnamon stick? What do you think? I smell a little bit of pepper. And... A little bit of pepper? Mm -hmm. You smell the cinnamon? Mm -hmm. Okay, add those to your jar. Okay. Okay, you want to step them all the way down? Okay. All right. And then next, we're going to add in some oranges. And we want to put like two or three oranges in there, but you want to make sure they're against the jar so that you can see it as decoration. Okay, add one. Uh-huh, so add another. I'm gonna make like a triangle, if I can. Last one. All right, I hold it up, see what it looks like so far. So it kind of looks like a triangle except for the bottom. So. All right. Now we're going to add in some cloves. Can you find the cloves? Yes. Excellent. Have you ever smelled a clove before? No. No, you do find them in the spice aisle. It's not something I've ever really bought before. So here. Yep. Okay. You got it? <laughs> it smells really bitter and strong. It it's is strong. strong. Yep. Okay. How much? All right. So just a handful of those. You tell me when to stop. That's probably good. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of cloves. Maybe half that. Good. Let's put it over here. Okay. All right. Like sprinkle. Yeah, let's sprinkle it. Let's move it all around. There you go. Shake it up. All right, so now we are going to sprinkle in some nutmeg. So, mm hmm. Mm hmm. How much? Just shake. Shake, 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 shake
That is going to make the house smell so good. I can't wait. Okay, so we have tied on our uh, little gift tag, and this one is going to her other grandmother, Bibi. Yeah. And she made a sweet little card that has a picture of Una. Why did you choose that? Because me and my baby like to play Una a lot. Yeah, that's your favorite game to play with her grandmother. So if we have free time, we mm -hmm. play this game. Yep. So that's their special bond is over a game of Uno. Mm -hmm. So that's why she made that. I think she's gonna love it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. Spanish for one. <laughs> <laughs> Uno is Spanish for one. Because once you get one card, you scream out Uno. Uno. And do you do it like that? Uno. No. No. I say Uno. <laughs> Caroline is pretty serious about her game. She's very competitive. So it's mm -hmm. a good it's a good trait sometimes. Because mm -hmm. you like to win. All right, well, what do you think on the rateability? Was that easy to make? Yeah. How many do you think you can make? About like 20. You think you need to make 20 of them? Maybe 20, okay. Who are we gonna give them to? The fans. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we ever came across one in person, I guess we could, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have their addresses, so. But they can make them pretty easily for the for the people they love. What do you think about that? So we did something fun with the people that we love? Mm -hmm. Yep, and they can do the same. So make, ti make sure to make time this Christmas for an easy craft like this or yesterday's, uh, which was the sock warmers. What did we end up calling them? We ended up calling them like stuffy buddies. Sack warmers. <laughs> well, yeah, they're sock. sock warmers, yeah. Um, but they carried them around like they were stuffed animals and they had a function because they were warm so uh anyway if you haven't made a craft yet you can either do today's stove top potpourri or yesterday's sock buddies <laughs> so <laughs> you can check out the link to that video here well that's it for tonight thank you for joining us and um merry christmas we'll see you tomorrow god bless Y'all, it smells just like Christmas in here. We have our cranberries, our pine needles, our oranges, cranberries, cloves, and somewhere in here is the cinnamon sticks. So, so good. It smells just like Christmas. Make yourself some stovetop potpourri.